Early detection is key when it comes to treating cancer. Hi everyone, this is Holly Knutson. I'm a functional health practitioner from Utah, and today I'd like to continue my cancer series and talk about the GREASE test. The GREASE test measures circulating tumor cells before they form a tumor. It's a simple blood test and it's revolutionizing the way cancer is treated. The lab is applicable for all types of cancer. It's also called the Greek test or RGCC testing, which is conducted by Research Genetic Cancer Center in Greece. And it looks at circulating stem cells before signs and symptoms of cancer are clinically apparent. The intention behind the test is to find the most effective treatments for halting cancer growth. Established in 2004, RGCC Group is a leading edge company that specializes in medical and cancer genetics, chemo resistance and sensitivity testing, and pharmaceutical research and development. Their headquarters are located in Switzerland, with a new facility in Greece where blood samples are analyzed. Results are generated within two weeks. What are circulating tumor cells? Well, these are cells that have escaped the primary tumor and can be detected in the bloodstream. They're responsible for tumor formation and metastases and are what make cancer so deadly. Determining which substances will effectively treat these malignant cells is key to preventing tumor growth and is predictive of disease progression. What is the purpose of the GREASE test? Well, it identifies genetic markers implicated in the growth of cancer. It determines how many malignant cells are in the bloodstream per mill of blood. It identifies malignant mutations potentially resistant to specific therapies. It evaluates treatments and medications that will best treat the disease. And circulating tumor cells are tested against conventional treatment substances um, such as chemotherapy agents as well as natural substances. The GREASE test um, detects cancer in the early stages and this differs from other imaging tests um, like MRIs, PET and CT scans, colonoscopies and mammography which are able to detect tumors that have already formed. The GREASE test, however, tracks circulating stem cells before they can form a tumor. If the test comes back showing a high number of stem cells, this indicates the need for further investigation, whereas lower numbers correlate to the efficacy of the treatment being used. The test looks at approximately 150 markers, including 50 immune therapies, 50 chemotherapy agents, and 50 natural substances. Once the circulating stem cells are isolated, they are then cultured. The cells are placed in a petri dish and tested for each of the 150 substances separately. After 48 hours, it can be determined how many malignant cells were eradicated with each individual substance tested thoroughly displayed using assessment charts and graphs along with a written explanation. A treatment plan can then be mapped out according to the most effective substances. Who can benefit from the GREASE test? Well, the test is designed for patients in three categories. Patients with metastatic cancer who are searching for viable treatment options, those whose cancer is in remission, but want to decrease their risk of reoccurrence, and cancer patients whose cancer has not yet spread and are hoping to prevent metastases. Cancer is a systemic disease, meaning it travels via the bloodstream, and this is why chemotherapy is used. In reality, this highly toxic treatment makes circulating tumor cells more resistant. Cancer cells are highly adaptive and adept at building resistance to the very drugs that are used to attack them. Tracking circulating tumor cells provides vital information in regard to which treatments will best target the stem cells. The GREASE test is not commonly used by doctors who use conventional cancer treatments. And this doesn't make sense because why would they want to use a test that confirms that their treatment of choice, chemotherapy, does not kill cancer stem cells.
Natural practitioners, however, find the test very useful because it shows which natural therapies will best treat the disease. Changing the terrain of the body is also critical and one of the best ways to treat circulating stem cells in conjunction with natural therapies. Optimal nutrition, consistent exercise, detoxification strategies, and oxygenating the body are just a few common sense strategies that can't be underestimated in changing the body's terrain. Epigenetics, which is the study of alterations in gene expression that doesn't involve DNA sequencing, shows that gene expression, including oncogenes, the ones that cause cancer, can be positively or negatively impacted by lifestyle. The immune system is key. The GREASE test is an amazing lab and it provides valuable information for treating cancer. However, it is expensive. It costs around $2,000, uh, give or take. Like any test, it does have its limitations. For instance, it can't provide information regarding the entire body's immune system, but it does present enough relevant data regarding which natural substances will be the most efficacious. Moreover, the test proves that natural substances do indeed kill cancer. You can still treat cancer holistically without using expensive lab testing or toxic drugs that damage the immune system, which fundamentally reduces the chances of recovery. The immune system is what will ultimately restore the health of the body. The body knows how to heal itself when given what it needs. In summary, the GREASE test isolates circulating tumor cells taken from a simple blood draw. Cells are then cultured against 150 substances to determine which ones will inhibit cancer cells from spreading. A comprehensive treatment plan can then be formed based on this information. The test is frequently used in countries outside the United States as it is not yet FDA approved. Unfortunately, the lab is expensive, making it prohibitive for some people. Have you heard of the grease test or know someone who has used it? Please take the time to leave a comment below this video. Thanks so much for watching.